worse. Light will begin her second inning. She's throwing to Savannah Price. Price is one for two in the day. I apologize, this is Hallie Harger. First at bat for Hallie Harger. She's hitting in the hole that was previously occupied by Savannah Price. Harger got the start in yesterday's win against Cal State Fullerton. Almost hit to her father. Allie Harger's dad is Jeff Harger down the third base line. A little catch for their dad. <laughs> Here's a foul ball coming your way, Dad. You see a lot of that in travel ball, right? Dad's coaching daughters. You always see a lot of it here at college level. It's pretty cool. One and two. Sixth inning, Arizona State is the visiting team, even though this is their home ballpark. Called strike three. That is now four in a row, retired by Allie Light. Well, Allie Light getting the job done with that tight spin outside corner, takes a little bit off of it. Off-speed pitch has been the name of the game here this afternoon with the ball just flying in the park. It hasn't been flying out of the park, but it's been flying all around the park. That off-speed pitch has been money. Jesse Puck. Softly, third base side, it was off her leg, so it's a dead ball. Foul ball, 0-1 to Puck. These two familiar with each other from their SEC days. Puck playing at Ole Miss. Allie Light pitching at South Carolina. One ball and one strike. I misspoke. Allie Light is from South Carolina. She's from Lexington, South Carolina. I should have known that. She's from Arkansas. Yeah. She played in Arkansas. Liner into left, that'll get down. So it still was an SEC matchup, but it was <laughs> Arkansas against Ole Miss. And it's won by the former Ole Miss Rebel, Jesse Puck. Uh, Puck is just going to connect with this, send it out in the left field. Good job of timing that up. Second hit of the game for Jesse Puck. Bella Loomis hitting out of the ninth spot with two doubles in our ball game. Fans didn't seem to care for that call. They've seen some good softball over the years here in Tempe. Oh, absolutely. Two national championships won by the Sun Devils, most recently 2011. That was the Dallas Escobedo team. Three years prior to that, 2008. Katie Burkhart, Caitlin Cochran. A lot of fun names here for the Sun Devils over the years. One ball and two strikes to Loomis. This was an 8-5 to five game after the first inning. In the subsequent innings, it has been a 3-3 tie. So since the first inning, it has been deadlocked. Everyone playing the exact same type of ball. 
Good job by Light to strike out Loomis. That is the third strikeout for Light. Light using that pitch low in the zone. A lot of late sharp movement. You can see the way she gets over top of that. It's a peel drop and it just dives down. Loomis goes over top it. It's a big strikeout because you're now back to the top of the order. And you got uh, Alina Torres batting. She's been aboard three times today. She's already got a hit off of Light. For San Diego State, you want to keep the score right where it is to give yourself a puncher's chance. You've only got six more outs to work with. You're already down by three. Aztecs trying to get back to that dugout. In an 11-8 game in the sixth inning, we have not had a home run. I know, it's crazy, right? After all the big yeah. blasts we saw yesterday. Six home runs between these two teams yesterday in their respective games. Due by that woman right there. Mac Barbara, the tank. Jill Bat in our bottom half of this inning. Runner on at first base, two outs. Light trying to throw a zero up there. And she does. She strikes out the side. Got Harger, Loomis, and Torres working around that one out base hit by Jesse Buck. Allie Light getting it done, using all of her tools that drop all money on the outside corner.